Today we're gonna to do a full day of eating in Vietnam for less than five US dollars. Vietnam is famous around the world, super delicious food, super healthy, very high quality, but it's also one of the cheapest places in the world that you can go out and eat a really good meal. So today I'm gonna to prove that to you. We're gonna spend less than five dollars on three meals. But here's the thing, we're not going to street food stalls and getting snacks. We're not going out of our way to find the cheapest meal that I can find. These are meals that I eat for lunch at least once a week. These are go-tos that I eat all the time that are within five minutes walking from my house proper meals at a family run restaurant. It's gonna be super delicious. I'm so confident I can do this. I'm even gonna include the price of this coffee in our $5. So coffee is about 12K or 50 cents. So we're already down to $4.50 for a whole day of eating. So $5 is about 125,000 Vietnamese dong. So I've got that here. We've got 125,000 dong. Let's go get something to eat. Let's see how we do. First meal of the day, no better way to start than with Mi Quang. Mi Quang is kind of the famous, that be it, like the specialty dish of Da Nang City. So Mi means noodles, and Quang is the name of the province, Quang Nam, which is right next to Da Nang City. Most cities and provinces in Vietnam will have their own kind of regional specialty meal or dish that they're really popular or really known for. And so in Da Nang City, it's Mi Quang. So this meal has just recently become one of my new favorite go-to Vietnamese meals. I almost never saw it in four years living in Hanoi. It's way more popular in the central and south of Vietnam. What makes this meal special is the noodles are just unique. They're not like in any other noodle dish in Vietnam. Pho is like a flat noodle but this is almost a square noodle. It's like really thick noodle, but also really light. It still doesn't make you feel super full. Easy to eat. So you got some herbs in there, add some spice. I have mi quang ga, which is chicken. And you can see the broth, it's like a dark orange color, so they use a lot of turmeric. So it gives it that kind of unique flavor that no other Vietnamese noodle dish has. A little rice cracker on the side. So this meal is only 30 days, just over $1. And this is a proper meal, it's gonna fill you up. Plenty of protein, plenty of chicken, a big boiled egg. Look at that bad boy. We gotta sprinkle a little lime on top. That's what we need right there. So funny story, I found this place. My friends were in town visiting a few weeks ago. It was the only place, it was probably almost four in the morning and we're like, we have to eat, we're starving after a big night out in the bars. And this was one of the only places that was still open at 4 a.m. So the central of Vietnam is amazing. You can get late night food, sometimes 2, 3 a.m., no problem. But at 4 a.m., there's just like a family run little business. The uncle was still in here, we're like, hey, can we come eat? And he was like, yeah, of course, come sit down. Me and my friends, we laughed about it because we were like, that was like the best meal we've had in Vietnam, but was it because we were super drunk? So we went back again a couple days later and was like, no, that's legit, that's serious. So I've been having this meal at least once a week for the past few weeks. I'll put all the addresses in the description so you can check them out if you want to. I'm also working on making a custom Google Maps. It's gonna have all my recommendations for Da Nang City, so that'll be somewhere in the description too. You can check that out, try to download that. The broth is honestly, my favorite flavor broth of any Vietnamese noodle dish. Every restaurant in Central and South Vietnam will have really nice tea for free that you can always drink if you're at the restaurant. So you never have to pay extra for drinks. All right, we absolutely crushed that. So we're gonna pay up and get out of here. We'll meet back up in a couple hours for our next meal. A great first meal of the day. I'm very happy with that. All right, it's been a couple hours. We're back with round two. If you've seen some of my other videos, you've probably seen this place. I've done a few videos here. I love this joint. Come here all the time. The family that runs the place is super nice. They know me by name. They say hi every time I come in. Once I made the biggest bang mi, like a bang mi sandwich this big here. So this meal we're eating, bang hai heo kuei, and it's 35,000, so about a dollar 50 or so. So what we've got is tit heo kuei, is crispy roast pork, 
they cook it in those barrels outside. It's called a lu. It's like a clay pot barrel where the fire's cooking in the middle and they hang the big pork bellies, big chunks of meat around the outside of the barrel. Fat will melt off of it. So it's not really fatty, it's super crispy, super delicious. So we've got the nice crispy pork and then the bang hoi is the interesting part of this meal. So bang hoi is super thin rice noodles and it's kind of folded up into these little cakes. It comes with all the sides, everything's included in 35K. So you get a little side of soup, this is chow. Chow is kind of like a porridge, so it's a little extra soup. So you get some extra greens and veggies, all and stuff on the side. Nice big chunks of garlic and chilies and lime. Oh, it's so good. I love this meal. I still gotta get a workout in later today. So this meal is really good because it's not gonna make you feel too heavy at all. The bang hoi, the rice noodles are so light. So I'm gonna squeeze some lime juice on top. Why not? The dipping sauce will be like a sweet and sour kind of spicy fish sauce. Look, we got one piece of the noodles and one piece of the pork. A little dip. Mm-hmm. So I gotta be honest, whenever I come here, every single time, I'll order like an extra 30,000 worth just of extra pork to make it a really solid meal. But normally, this would be my one big lunch of the meal. I would only have one lunch. But today I'm having two lunches, so this is plenty enough for me. So also really popular with Bang Hai is Laung. So Laung is pig intestines and some organs kind of all chopped up. So it's not for me, but Luan loves it. So this is another meal. It's famous in a different province from here called Bing Ding. This is not really a common dish. Very rarely seen this in many places in the country. And Da Nang was the first place I ever saw it and tried it, but I definitely love it. There's a whole clove of garlic. Oh yeah. This is my favorite bite. A piece of meat with a basil leaf and the bang hai, a dip. Mm -hmm. So the soup's nice and warm. So it's like a rice porridge. It's got some minced up meat in there. A lot of pepper. It's got a really peppery taste to it. it tastes like something your mom would make you when you're sick. It'd just make you feel better, like a hearty, hearty meal. Like put the little meat in the blanket. Roll it up. Yeah, that's proper. All right, so we finished up Bang Hai. We're in really good shape. We spent 12000 on coffee, 30000 on Mi Guang, and 35000 on Bang Hai Hei Kui. So that's going to put us at 48,000 dong left for the day, which is too easy. That's about two bucks. We're not going to have any problem. The last meal of the day is going to be one of my favorites. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. I'll see you at the next spot. All right, third meal of the day. We just finished up a workout. It's been a long day. I'm ready for dinner. So for this meal, we're having gum ga. This is a simple one. Gum is rice and ga, you should remember from earlier, is chicken. So we've just got kind of a fried rice cooked in chicken broth. So it's like a yellow, more of a flavorful rice and deep fried chicken. So it's pretty basic. I wanted to pick this place in case maybe the first two meals seem a little bit kind of adventurous or Vietnamese food can be a little intimidating. Everybody likes chicken and rice. Around the world, everybody should be able to enjoy this one. So a lot of Vietnamese soup, for example, are really known for mixing a lot of flavors and textures. So that can maybe be a little intense or a little intimidating for some people. So the last meal of the day, we're keeping it super basic. I'm super hungry, we need a lot of protein. So chicken and rice, can't go wrong. The biggest version, you get a chicken leg and a thigh. So plenty of meat, like super crispy. You got some cucumbers, even a little bit of kimchi on top of your rice. A little tunglet on top. 
So this is like a spicy chili ketchup, I think you could say. I smother everything that I eat with this stuff. So good? Crazy good. Crazy good? Mm -hmm. You get a little extra soup with this meal too. This is just kind of like a salty broth, but really nice just because I had a big session in the gym. So get, the, get you rehydrated. If I'm being really honest with myself, this is definitely the least healthy meal of the day. So the chicken, super deep fried and vegetable oil, they gotta coat it with some kind of like sugar because the, the crispy skin is just so good. It's so good that it can't be good for you. There we go, good bite. I was trying really hard to stay under $5, but I'm just too hungry, I couldn't say no to the big one. So all three of the places we've been today are all within like three minutes walking from each other on the same street that's right near my house. And these are just three out of 15 options probably if I wanted to find meals for you know, $1.50, $2 or so. I'm thinking about it. This might be the first time in five years that I've eaten three meals out in one day. I actually cook a lot at home, but you can see how you can go out for every meal every day of your life and you still wouldn't spend very much money in Vietnam. All right, let's get the rundown for the day. I did the math. 12,000 for coffee, 30,000 for mi quang, 35,000 for beng hoi, hèo quay, and 50,000 for the kum gà. So the kum gà is a little bit pricey at $2 for two big pieces of fried chicken and a big plate of fried rice. Still not too bad, huh? So total we spent 127,000 Vietnamese dong for the whole day, which comes out to $5.08 for three awesome delicious meals and a coffee. I don't know. I don't know where you can beat that. Hey, so that's it. Big day of eating. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Check out the next video over here. I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Chào đồng quay video. Đây đồ ăn Việt Nam. Cảm ơn rất nhiều.